I already mentioned something about single friends. So mm-hmm. we're going to go into that. <laughs> because for me personally, I'm tired of this question, but people keep asking it. Okay. And it's about as a married woman, do you keep single friends? Yeah. I do. What do you do with your single friends? Do you did the dynamics change? Where you did anybody start giving you like attitude or something? <laughs> or okay. Did you give anybody attitude? Okay, I don't know. Okay, okay. So let's say single friends, did the friendship change not at all? Okay. I have single friends mm. because being married doesn't mean that I will throw away my friends. Yeah. These are people that have come a long way from like childhood exactly. and university days and all of that. Mm-hmm. But then there was one person I had an issue with. Okay. This person was, I don't know, maybe because we've not seen for a very long time. Well, I say the person was genuinely happy. I don't know. Mm. But this person stays in Lagos. I stay in Port Harcourt. This person was a friend. And this person was happy for me. This person even sent me a wedding gift. How come I came to your house like during this YouTube event and I'm like, oh, let me see a friend of mine, that kind of thing. And then on what was not even an issue, you used it as an issue. And then he started saying, you're a married woman, you're this. And I'm like, uh-uh. and this was just one week, one week of marriage. And I'm like, you're a married woman. And I'm like, <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I bet no best. When I married, you married. As in- Last week, Saturday. <laughs> Today is what? And you're already calling me, you're a married woman. How can a married woman be? I say, now, wow, did the marriage cause problem? Because <laughs> at that a, point, I could not get... Is there, is there a sign that there's not, something... You're not talking to me directly. You're mm. using, you're a married woman, you're a mm. married woman. And I'm like, what is going on with this, you're a married woman? This is like a friend, because most of my friends, they still see me like they know mommy. Yeah. I just, they just know that they can't call me any time Certain of the times, day. Yeah. But then they still see me like, ah, Jenny Alpha, they want to gist me, we still gist. Mm-hmm. But this one, you're a married woman. I'm like, what's going on here? Is it like you're not happy for me mm-hmm. or something? Or probably because I was not seeing you and because we were talking on phone. So maybe mm-hmm. I don't know how you felt about it and yeah. everything. And at that point, you know what? She said a whole lot. I just ended the friendship. But when I just kept on hearing, you're a married woman, you're a married yeah. woman, I said, this is not a friend because this is just one week of marriage. As and in, you're using this, you're a married woman. That means if we're there for how many years? Mm-hmm. It will become a problem. Exactly. Mm-hmm. At that point, I just I think that's the only friend I've actually cut off out of my life. Yeah. Because she made the issue. And I'm asking her, is it this thing we're quarreling about? Or is it something, something you have in mind? Mm-hmm. And if you have something in mind, open your mouth and tell me. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Stop referring to your marriage. I yeah. mean, when I marry, because As I was very pissed. Mm-hmm. And this is just one week. I told her, please, you know what? I can't deal. I can't, I can't do this. Mm. I'm out. I just left. Like, I left her house. Mm. Because at that point, I'm like, okay, this person is not genuinely. And a friend of mine was there. And when we left, she was like, this guy's not happy for you. Let me yeah. just tell you. Yeah, it's usually because, obvious. Hmm. She, if you see what was coming out of this girl's mouth, I can't even say it. Mm. Yeah, I was wondering. I don't think it's this thing we're quarreling about. I think it's mm. something else. Mm. You were saying a whole lot of things that I don't know where it was coming from. I just say, I beg, I beg, last, last, not be everybody yeah, so happy for you. So exactly. I, just, I just let it go. But every other of my single friends, we still talk to date. If I call them, we just like... Like normal, yeah. If it's to even talk about the guy, oh, one of my boyfriends is like this. Ah, we're even just about exactly. it. Exactly. Life goes on. Do you know, because I have single friends as well. And it's not, it's not, I don't even think like, oh, I'm now a married woman. Thank so, you. And I've been married for a, lo- a while, oh, this is 11 years. You can imagine. Yeah, so I don't even see them and say... I'm a married woman now. We can't discuss this. No, it's just open-minded. You talk, you just if she, my friend said, she even says some funny memes that has to do with relationship. We'll send it she to me. I'll laugh. Yeah. Life goes on. But even my nah. single friends, we talk about their relationships just like the way I talk about my husband is we talk about her boyfriend. So yes. it's not like there's any, any special thank you. Someone is on top, one person is exactly. No, so I don't even know how people do it that they say they cut off their friends. Yeah. But that one, she cut me off and they and came you. back to apologize. I'm like, there's no need for there's an no apology. Need, yeah. We're done is that we're done. Because what are you apologizing for? I asked you, what is in your mind? Tell me. You could not, you just did there, they look me, they insult me. I just left. I said, nah, I can't keep this kind of friend. Because for me, friendship is all about um, you being genuine and being honest. Yes. If there's something you don't like, come and tell me straight mm-hmm. up. Life goes on. We talk about it. I tell you my own point. You tell me your own point. We move. But mm-hmm. that particular one, I was like, ah, nah, this girl don't like me. Mm. Maybe she was just pretending because, oh, I'm getting married. Because before then, she kept on saying like, oh, you're now on my level. I'm like, which one be mm. your level? Because she got an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Her boyfriend got it for her. And then my husband then, when we were dating, got mm. me and like, ah, we're not on the same level. What does that mean? I seen she bought a hair of how much I bought a hair. And she, ah, we're not on the same level. I'm like, are you 
you're measuring me what with the, you. Yeah, what does that you're mean? You're working, you know, me, I'm doing YouTube. Like, mm-hmm. we're both different people. Mm-hmm. And she was not feeling like we are now having um, her shoulder and my own shoulder not getting to each other. No, but but what is bad in that? Even if it was getting to each other, like it's she's not like she's telling me now that I should be aware that I'm not leveling up small small to her level. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so when we're having this quarry and she was saying a whole lot of things, I just say, my dear, mm. this Lagos life, maybe don't worry you, don't forget yourself. Do you know? Eh, let's even talk about Lagos <laughs> life now because <laughs> Lagos people, sorry, oh, I'm very very Honest. sorry, but I feel like there's just an atmosphere in Lagos that affects oh, Jesus. people, like. Is it is it in the air? I don't believe it's funny enough. No, it's in the air. But it's like there's something in the air now yes. that is. It's in the air because there's no other place it is. Exactly. If you, if you come out from your house, everybody is mad. Yeah, as in. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, see. No offense to Lagos people, but if you if you step out of your house, everybody is mad. You cannot just say a normal person. You cannot ask a normal person question. Mm-hmm. Everybody is mad. Even your own friend that is your friend. Everybody is mad yeah. because. I don't know. Are they chasing money or money is chasing them? Something is always chasing. Something. Them. Yeah. They're always and on the is, run. There's this. There's this. Um, need to always live a fake life. Yes. To always show that, you know, you're this, you're that. Yeah. Especially when you know that you left your own city mm. to Lagos State and everybody in Lagos is making it. Yeah. So they want to make it. So I, I think that was one thing too that affected her. Maybe this Lagos life has affected her mentality and her mm. mindset and then she doesn't know. I, I, I can't even say. But yeah. at the end of the day, I just say, I beg, I beg. I don't like what I like. This yeah. one big passion. But you know, from everything you just said now, I always tell people that when people give this I always see people that say things like, oh, my friend got married and cut me off. Or, and I'm like, it's, it's, it's a person-to-person... Yeah. It's not a marriage thing. It's yes, not a single it's not a marriage thing. thing. It's a person-to-person issue. Some it's people, not a marriage You might be the one giving your friend. That's your married friend. You might, you might be the one giving her attitudes that yes. she's not like, okay, let me just stay away from this person. Yes. Or you might be giving her negative advice that she doesn't like. Exactly. And then she doesn't know how to tell you. Exactly. And then she just cut you She just cut you off. So, it's not, I'm not saying that there are no married women that yeah. cut off single friends. No, so there, there, are, there, are, there are, yeah. But there are a lot. It's not a general marriage thing. It's just... Uh, like this one, I just remembered, one of my cousins back then, she had a friend that was her genuine friend. But the girl was coming to her house, more like trying to say this is her husband. She just cut it. She said, nah, we know they do it again. Oh, yeah, we'll I see. see your house. Let me stay in my house. Like, she just got married though. And you just start coming to my house every time, every time, mm. every time, every time. You want to show yourself. And my husband is always around for people that just got married. Yeah. Say, we know they do. Oh, yeah, bye <laughs> Let's go. I was like, why did you call her? She said, see, she doesn't even want to start the whole story, but I should just know that the girl didn't mean well. Mm. She used to come and show herself, everything. Mm. Oh, let her be going. And you know when you know the kind of friend you have? You have. And you know she's that kind thing. of person. Because there's some girls that just see a guy, but the everywhere is, I, yeah. don't, I don't even know what is going on in their life, but this is a buzz, a queen just yeah. enter. And they want to show themselves that kind of thing. So yeah, I think it depends on the individual you're dealing you're with. You're dealing with, yeah. And again, some married women maybe all of you were doing runs before. Exactly. Now that she has married, she's like, okay, hey, hey. We, we know ourselves. We know ourselves. <laughs> we know ourselves. We know ourselves. So, <laughs> let her just stay out. But let's talk about before you got married, mm-hmm. right? Because I've gotten a lot of people ask me this question. It's like people. It's vague somehow. For people, it's vague. So let me know for you what it okay. is, right? How did you know that your husband? Is the one. Miss Eva, we would love to know how you knew your husband <laughs> was the one picker. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. how do you even know the person was the one? Yeah, it's, how do you know? I, I think I think my own was different okay. because I was in school back then, and I okay, I was done with school, and I just prayed to God that I, anybody I'm meeting right now, let me let it be the person I will marry. That was one thing I did yeah. because I made my own a bit different, and so when I saw it, I was like putting interest. Yeah. Because I was this kind of person back then in school. Oh, my, you're giving me big, big talk. All this talk, they talk. Eh, I love you. I do this. Mm-hmm. I do that. You're just speaking sermon. Yeah. If you tell me this one, Tom will come and tell me the same sermon. Jerry mm-hmm. will tell me the same sermon. Exactly. So at that point, I just told myself that, okay, you know what? Now you're actually, you're an adult already. You're done with school. Yeah. What do you want to do with your life? Mm-hmm. And literally, what did I do? I just had to pray. Yeah. I prayed about it. And lucky enough, I was in no relationship as at that time. Okay. So I prayed about it and I prayed that any relationship I was getting, let it be something that would lead to marriage. Mm-hmm. And let anybody that is coming my way be the person the I would get married to. Yeah. So I didn't just pray for a man. I prayed mm-hmm. for the kind of man I wanted. Yeah. And how I wanted the man. Guys, see, there's something people make a mistake about. You're praying for a man. You're praying God fearing. No offense to the person has to be God fearing. <laughs> if you want the person to have money, pick up, open your mouth and pray. Pray, dear sister. Pray it out to me. <laughs> be specific in your prayers. Mm-hmm. Don't come and pray God fearing and then tomorrow the person is God fearing and you have problems <laughs> with the person. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you want everything about, see, guys, I don't want to be robot. 
If you want the person's dick to be big, please pray it. As in, I don't even know what we used to do. Pray it because girls literally, people literally give themselves problems. Yeah. You want something and you're praying about something and you're not specific. Exactly. You're just giving a random prayer. Obviously, you'll get a random person. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I prayed for what I wanted. Yeah. And then when I saw the relationship, it didn't even take up to how many months, like three months. When I saw the person, I was not serious. Yeah. I was still praying because I feel like it's another Tom or another yeah. Jerry. Mm. So I just kept on praying and praying all through the relationship. And as because I pray every day for myself, mm. I just add it up as my normal prayer routine. Mm. And then so when it happened, I just knew because yeah. there was no other person coming at that time. It was just mm. that person and the moves the person was making. Today we feel like we want to break up. Tomorrow the person will just come in. I'm like, come, you know they tire. I thought we, we, I thought this thing is ending. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I just realized, okay, this person is actually the one. And even when I was asking my husband, he said, do you know how I even knew you were the person I was supposed to marry? That I prayed to God that on my birthday, the person that would call mm. me and send me, not like I don't have plenty of girlfriends, so, mm. but the person that would call me and give me a birthday gift. And mm. he thought that I was the only girl that came out that day. I said, yes, see what I <laughs> He said, yes, that all his friends that he had, all the girls he used to talk mm. to back then, none of them, they didn't even call him or anything, but I was the only person that was only he just, you know what? Mm. He's my wife focus to be. I said, on okay. So that's it. There are, there are different ways to know. I don't think there's one way. But in my own case, I think what even made me know was just I met someone that checked a lot of boxes. Okay. Yeah, and I had those boxes. And, it, and the truth is that before then, my father told me, my father called me one day and said, sit down. Tell me the kind of man you want to marry. I mean, you know that kind of thing now. Because my father was busy shaping mouth. I want God fearing, <laughs> intelligent, is, you know that kind of thing. My father said, you have to be specific. Yeah. Yeah. This, if you want it, even down to complexion. Yeah. Be specific, you know. So I said all those things. Even when my husband came, like in your own case too, I didn't really see him like that too. In my mind, I was like, who is this one? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going be going. But over time, I started seeing that, okay, all those boxes that I had, that I even forgot about, Seth, he was yeah. taking them one by yeah, one. Yeah, same thing. So that was it. I was just like, ah, let's just go. Let's just move on. Mm. I got married immediately after. In fact, I got married a week after or something like that, after my graduation from school. Oh, from, wow. Yeah. So I wasn't even, and funny enough, at the time I got married, I wasn't even thinking of getting married. It wasn't like I was like, all those people that are saying, ah, I want to get married now. No, I was just thinking of finishing school and, you know, doing other things in my life. But somehow I just saw the thing in front of me and I collected it because... Yeah, I, I think that's the same thing that yeah. happened, Chris. Even when... Even when my husband was like, let's get married, I said, that's how they used to do it. You don't know how to propose to somebody. Oh, that's yeah. my husband. Do you ever see describing that? It sounds like my husband. All this straight to the point. I swear. No like, filter. We're just sitting, sitting down in the panel watching the movie, and he just said, I was like, is that how they used to do it? Mm. You don't know how to propose. <laughs> yeah, if you're waiting for a proposal, it's okay, oh, because mm. it did not come. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? No one did not propose to me. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> he just said, when are we going to your house to see your parents? I say, here. Yeah. Like is that, that how they used to do it? Just like that. <laughs> And that's because I already knew the kind of person he, he was. was yeah. And because at the same time, too, he accepted me for who I was. Yeah. And doing YouTube again, too, he already mm -hmm. accepted that part. Yeah. Though he's not a social media person, but he already he accepted that husband. part. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you know what? This person is actually, when it comes to the character, the behavior, yeah, those every that other thing. As in, you're just good. Yeah. I, I can't, I've not seen someone I want to compare. Mm. So when I saw all this, I was like, you know what? This part will not spoil this, this whole part. Yes, no. Or like the 80% at the 20%. And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, fine, I'm good. Or the 60% yeah. at the 40%. Yeah. But that was it for because me. Because another thing some people forget is that, okay, we've turned this thing now to marriage. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but something that people forget is that you can teach to an extent some of these frivolous things, all these... Yes, all these minor, minor things. I remember my own proposal in quotes. I'd already bought the ring. In fact, I was the one that bought the ring. I went to market ball ring for me and you know, his own ring. So I was meeting him to give him his ring before mm. the wedding so that he can now give his best man. So I now gave him a ring. I said, oh, guy, you have to kneel down. Give me back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you see my ring? Yeah, kneel down, give me back. You know that. You know that with the two knees. <laughs> and I said, okay, ask me to marry. This when <laughs> really done, I should be everything. No. But all those things you can teach him. Yes, they learn over time. you can't teach time. those core values. You can't. Like, yeah. you know where to start from. <laughs>